I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse, the politics of the Grove. I was forgetting who I was, but you lifted the fog. Thank you. You. I discovered you. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. I want more than to fight at your side or sit around the campfire with you. I want to lay with you under the stars and feel your skin against mine. I think you feel the same way. Once the power of the Shadow Curse was broken, the connection was undeniable. We both felt it. But tell me I'm wrong, and the matter can rest. I do not wish to sour our friendship, but I have to know if it can be something more. You have bonded with Will, body and soul. His scent lingers on your skin. If there is to be anything between us, it must be with his consent. And perhaps someday, his participation. Some treat their relationships like a walled garden, tidy, tamed, cut off from the world. That is their right, but it is not for me. I do as nature does, and let my heart run wild. Desire flourishes wherever it finds purchase. It has its place, but it is not for me. The wolf mates for life, but the bear roams free and partners as its instinct dictates. I need to stay true to my nature, and you to yours. Perhaps you are like me, or perhaps not. Take your time. I'll be waiting. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Do you need something? You're talking about Halcyn, aren't you? I don't blame you. It'd take a cold heart and cobwebbed loins to ignore him. But what exactly did you have in mind? Bold of you to ask. Some might take the suggestion very badly. Luckily for you, I don't count among their number. If you have a chance to climb Mount Halsen, well, I'd be cruel to deny you. I'll be waiting to hear the details afterwards. Of course. In the spirit of open-mindedness, I want to hear it all. Was there anything else? Besides your increasingly complex love life? Did you find time to speak with your partner? A potentially delicate topic, I understand. Indeed. <laughs> I had feared a life in service of Shah might have narrowed her mind, but I'm glad to be proven wrong. 
There is more to her than even she knows, I feel. Now we will have each other, but not just each other. Our hearts are free to roam, together or apart, as nature designed. The feeling is more than mutual. Seek your bedroll when you are ready, but do not expect much sleep. You came. I was concerned you might have had doubts, or that this might have all been too soon. As have I. It's been worth the wait. I'm almost frightened to touch you. If I give in, I may not be able to stop until I've devoured you. Nevertheless, I will be gentle. At least, I will try. Forgive me, I, uh, lost the run of myself. Um, sometimes, if blood runs hot enough, it's difficult to tame the beast. Oh. You... like it? Are you certain? It will be untamed, vigorous, and... well... large. just to look upon you. What do you need? That was something I had dreamed about for some time. <laughs> and now I realize just how woefully meager my dreams were compared to the reality. I would still be there with you now. If the sun hadn't intruded on us and the city hadn't stirred for the day. Are you sure? Holding back is not in my nature, but I would not wish to alarm you. Or harm you. can imagine. You rode out the storm most admirably. Perhaps fate will afford us more time together. I hope it does. <laughs> <laughs> 